Um, we have to start with the welcoming to the to the event. Uh, I'm glad that you you came this morning. Um, and we're going to start with Roberto uh, giving us the introduction. Uh, after that, Peter will we'll talk about a little bit of the Systemic Design Association. And then Manuel will start at 9, 10. So um, we can start. So welcome, uh, Roberto. Come on. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. Thank you very much, David. First of all, welcome. Welcome to Monterrey for those who made the, the trip. It, it is my pleasure to be here. I, I was uh, telling Peter that may, I, I think that this, this might be my fourth R, R, SD conference. So I'm so, so happy and so glad of uh, this opportunity of, uh, of hosting the uh, a hub, right? Is, is the right word, a, a hub of the, of the conference. So thank you. Thank you very much. First of all, to Peter Jones that uh, uh, created this opportunity in a very short space of time because uh, we, we we have this dialogue like not, not so long ago right so thank you thank you very much for this opportunity and thank you also for for being here um i would like also to 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 express my gratitude to all the organization and the team and some of you are here uh, the whole uh, research team at tech de monterrey alfredo hidalgo emmanuel georgi david sanchez of course the, who is leading this, uh, the, the local organization, Rodolfo Barragan, Gerardo Muñiz, and the whole team, Daniel is also here. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you much, very much for doing this uh, uh, possible. And, and, um, and, and a special, uh, I will say, mention to, to our uh, research group, Advanced Design Processes for Sustainable Transformation, that uh, is part of the very recent very recent uh, reorganization that we are doing on research, not just in the school, but at the institutional level. And they have setting the, the, the first steps towards a, a, a very productive uh, future. I, that's what I get, I, 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 we fully believe in that. So uh, for, um, from behalf of the institution, Tech de Monterrey and the School of Architecture, Art and Design, it is my pleasure to say uh, welcome to, to Campus Monterrey. Do we have a clicker? Thank you. Thank you so much. And, and well, thank you. Thank you very much also for the opportunity to share some thoughts and, and introduction, I would say, to this idea of how from Tech de Monterrey and the school we have been working uh, uh, regards and towards, I will say, uh, this concept of participatory uh, ecosystems. Um, to, we are uh, uh, this year having our 80th anniversary as, as Tecnológico de Monterrey. So during these decades, the, our, our mission has been very, very rooted on the idea of being from the society to society. So every time we re rethink uh, our mission in order to, uh, to, to properly uh, tackle with, with, with it. And um, in the latest years, I will say that there has been several initiatives towards uh, rethinking ourselves as an, as an ecosystem, mainly for human flourishing. Our mission is uh, leadership, innovation, and entrepreneurship for human flourishing. That is what we established for uh, 2030. And under that umbrella as a mission is how we have been uh, setting the first uh, steps uh, in order to approach that. And one of them is, is this one on the School of Architecture and Design of many of the leaders that are here in this room have been uh, working uh, a lot on how we could create an, 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 an ecosystem for that. And um, uh, well, this is Tecnológico Monterrey, uh, just very briefly. I see many familiar faces and many locals, so I don't spend too much time here, but just to say that it's a, a national scale project uh, with presence in 23 cities, um, almost 100,000 students, where 6,000 of them are part of the School of Architecture, Art and Design, and uh, well, we feel very, very, very proud, I can say, because in some of the rankings, we don't work for that. That is not the main vision, of course, but uh, it is important to, 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 to know how the world 
look at you and say, uh, and ma mainly in, in employability and entrepreneurship, I will say that we are very well known and, and we are <laughs> very, very happy for that. And um, uh, what we have been um, working in, 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 at, in, in, in at the school uh, is very, very, and, and that is why I'm so happy to open this uh, uh, space is because uh, the idea of system thinking as a part of a new contract on how design is able to 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 to, to provide the uh, a new way of thinking uh, that this is the words of Donald Norman some months ago that we were on the opening of the design world design capital that is going to be next year in Tijuana San Diego so it's going to be pretty close from here in our country uh, this idea of 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 uh, having a new way of thinking in the world of design that uh, really tackles the idea of that we are uh, recognizing ourselves in a in a complex global system. Um, so, uh, in in one hand, in I will say that in the, in the in design community, and I think that after the pandemic, we have this kind of hangover of how design if you allow me to use that word, on how design or by design, we're in the middle of, of these uh, very big challenges, such as climate change and uh, uh, social inequity, for instance, just to mention a couple of them, but we can uh, go through all the, 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 the sustainable development objectives, of, no? for instance. And some of them we have created by design, I mean, design and, and the decisions that we made as institutions, as society, led us to that. So uh, it is a, a, an enormous uh, commi commitment to rethink ourselves on how we, these tools that we have developed as a society, as academic community, as institution and organization, we could uh, really create uh, new ways of thinking, and we fully believe that the 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 place where system thinking and and design get together is one of the very very positive assets that we have as as a practice, as a knowledge, as a possibility, and and that's what gathered us today, right? So uh, and well, and with this complexity, uh, trying to be uh, to coping with that, uh, to to think about the processes. Uh, and this is part of our of my uh, personal interest on in research and has been part of my work is how to uh, recognize them as uh, learning systems. This is uh, Peter Chaklan in 2000. So a couple of decades ago, this, there was already this idea of how we could organize the complexity through the uh, system, systemic thinking lens as uh, learning systems. Um, and, and one of the uh, first reflections that I would like to put on the table is this idea of uh, the university as, uh, uh, as a, a space of great opportunity, because if we think on, 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 on systems and learning system, th this is the right place to do it, right? So with that commitment, we have been launching very many things. And I would like to tell you a little bit of story. I don't know if the... Oh if this video is going to run. Just to introduce you to the place that we are, Monterrey. This is supposed to be a video. Can you help me with, uh, with it? So we can run, maybe? Me ayudan, por favor, a ver si se ve el video. So yeah, I want to tell you a little bit uh, 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 a very uh, uh, small uh, story, but that the last uh, couple of decades uh, regards Monterrey and a couple of the initiatives that we have been running on it. Se ve o no se ve? A ver si lo logramos. Well, this was supposed to be a video showing the, the, the urban sprawl. Maybe many of you that are <laughs> there have, have looked at it, but uh, si funciona o no? No, no funciona. Bueno, okay, this has to be, imagine the, the, the urban sprawl that grows so fast. <laughs> and uh, and and uh, and 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 this story that I want to 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 share this morning to you is is the is is a story that have several 
I will say that conditions together, imagine in, in during these years, we also, uh, besides, let's say, the human sprawl that we have lived, we also lived a crisis, a very huge crisis. Well, this is in Spanish, but it says that, well, you can uh, get, get the idea, uh, uh, a very difficult bi and violent times, like a uh, uh, decade and a half ago, and uh, this is part of the numbers uh, uh, that represent the, the district that we call now Distrito Tech uh, on, on, on how in one time you have the, 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 the urban sprawl growing so fast, but at the same time we were losing a, a, a population and you know that uh, with this tremendous and enormous 36% uh, uh, of inhabited housing, in our surroundings and in the same time maybe uh, another condition more um, in the macro uh, perspective was this idea and this is from the world academic forum maybe uh, um, of course i uh, maybe one disclaimer is that today we are trying to look at uh, different kpis more just than than this one that are maybe is, are still a little bit connected with the idea of growth as a as a as a as a positive indicator, but at that time, if you allow me to continue with the story, many of the, during the during the previous decades, we were we were very very on to this this idea of being a manufacturer economy, and so this how how to get into the knowledge. Uh, economy or, or, an, or, or to become a knowledge society was one of our main questions. And uh, something that we set the stones, and these are words of our pre former president, uh, were that we need, we need to, 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 to work on three main aspects systemically. Of course, one of course is the urban and social regeneration. I, I already uh, shared a little word regarding the condition that we were having at that time. Uh, of course, we are a university, so we need to, to work and invest a lot in talent and how to get uh, the best uh, students and faculty um, and create a system of quality that could support this, this positive transformation and how research and entrepreneurship can link together so we can have a, a, a research that is no, not just, I will say, apply it in, in, in terms of many of the effort that we were doing as university, but also create initiatives that can be sustainable for the positive transformation. So uh, many of our research efforts um, are connected with this idea on which are the problems that we would like to solve and, and which are the, the, the steps that we need to take, not just to discover something, but to discover something that at the end, that at, and, and the short or in the long run is going to have a positive impact in the world and in society. So we feel very, very accountable for that. And uh, that is why many initiatives uh, uh, run. And I think that uh, uh, I, I give you one, one of them is Distrito Tech, of course, that you know very well, uh, uh, that is very, very on into, into the first uh, sphere there. Uh, how to how and uh, we organized several uh, uh, projects around there. For instance, uh, creating a structure for social re representation, and uh, that one is that is the Cubo, right? You know it very well. The the, the ones that are local here, the the and the the Cubo stands for. Uh, help me out here. It's the quiz, Diego. <laughs> Célula <laughs> urbana para el bienestar y las oportunidades. Yeah, so I, sorry, I, I was trying to translate it. Yeah, yeah, urban cell for opportunities and well being. And so many, so, so we run several projects together. Now, now there are some pictures of what happened on the street around here. Many, many projects on urban regeneration. We are seeing the difference between how was our. Uh, and how it is now, and uh, collaborative process, not to, of course, together with the, our neighbors, but but also with institution. This is something that we, is 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 got you get to connect the, the whole actors uh, here. And uh, I think that se está acabando la batería. 
de la computadora, si me ayudan. Sí, gracias. Gracias. Y si me ayudan a cerrar la ventana para poder seguir. Ok, collaborative processes, structures for social representations, and um, uh, ok, Just, they are, they are, están ayudándonos un poco, ¿sí? so it, no, it's not working anymore, no. Yeah, they're fixing it. So thank you for your patience. So now, now it's working. No, not yet. No, maybe you can help me by clicking. So I think it's easier. Thank you very much. No, no. Yeah, maybe it's easier. And uh, yes. Sorry that something happened. The te te technologies sometimes can. Oh well, now it's working. Well, th th this there are some of the of the KPIs that we have set for this initiative in particular, the District of Tech, and now you can see that they are very positive in terms in terms of social housing, uh, inhabitants, because. And and we think is the is 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 part of the results and products of this urban regeneration that now allow us to think in a in a in a second step that we call innovation district, and uh, we are tackling it the, the 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 same way somehow on how to uh, in in one how the academic community but also our the all the stakeholders that are connected to this idea of creating a knowledge economy um, are able to connect and create an ecosystem an ecosystem for in, for innovation and well these are some of the of the dreams that we have that of that of course creating a network with with community organization and of course uh, i already mentioned this idea of the urban regeneration uh, can go together in the, for creating uh, uh, this and and with this idea of having an ecosystem uh several or, or all the schools we have been working on how to reorganize ourselves on this uh i would say triangle that triangle that connects education uh knowledge generation research and 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 incidents of or positive impact that I, that, that i already mentioned that for us is very very important uh, the, this idea of creating this positive loop between the three of them and uh, these are the three uh, main initiatives, I would say, in, inside of the school that are connected with the whole umbrella that I tried to describe. The, the first of it is, is the arts. We, we can imagine uh, ourselves aspiring um, to human flourishing without the arts as a platform where every individual uh, of the community is able to flourish. And, cities and community this is now after some of the slide that i already shared I, I think that sounds very logical in that sense so we have set several um in initiatives that connects re again research education and positive impacts with the initiative of cities and community also for ac academic program and design for value with this idea that design has the power to create value on these ecosystems and again connect all the actions that we do in terms of our program uh, uh, education, research, and positive uh, impact. And a very, very important and relevant uh, 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 part of these uh, sub ecosystems of, of subsistence in, 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 the, in the initiatives of our research group that so uh, well, today the advanced design group is the, is the, is the one that is leading this, this space, uh, but we also have this group of uh, um, 
the territorial development for sustainable uh, for sustainability and we also are, are creating this idea of of the gr a group of research through creation which is a different approach that our disciplines also uh, have uh, so i am not going to get in too much detail on on these because are going to be part of the conversation during this day but i think that it was appropriate to go from the general to the particular but all of that on this idea on how to create ecosystems of of knowledge that can be very participatory and create again the best education quality uh, uh taking advantage of the knowledge creation in order to uh, have a positive in, uh, impact and that is why i believe that uh, uh, requires uh, a new design leadership that acts in between these three spheres that I already uh, shown. Well, thank you very much and welcome, welcome again.